Assalamu alaikum everyone, tomorrow marks the beginning of Diwali, the five-day Indian festival of lights that celebrates and signifies the triumph of good over evil. It is celebrated throughout the world by lighting diyas, firecrackers, and eating lots of sweets, which Indians call metai. How exciting is Diwali this year in Dubai? Diwali in Dubai is like Dubai is our home. Coming out of COVID situation, I think it's more exciting. Ready for Diwali? Yeah, yeah. See, we came here to purchase all this thing. Are you going to be buying lots of sweets for Diwali? Of course, without saying. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at Joshi Restaurant to try some of their famous matai and how they bring sweetness to this beautiful festival. Let's take a look. And wow. You can feel the sweetness in the air. Before we get into sweets or anything, let's give this place the respect it deserves. This was the first Indian cafe slash restaurant that was opened in Dubai in 1968, three years before the establishment of the country of the United Arab Emirates. Lots of history. So as soon as you walk in, you see laid out all the beautiful sweets or matai as it's called in India. And some of the most famous desserts are things like gulab jamun, ras gula, laddu, jalebi, and kaju katri. Montal. Munkal. Munkal. Montal. It's like um like an Indian brownie. I can't leave without trying the gulab jamun. That is my favorite dessert, so we're gonna try that and then we're gonna head to the kitchen to show you how everything's made. This is like the perfect thing to just sweeten up the palate. Here's the thing, you would think fried dough ball sugar syrup, it's not that sweet, huh? 10 out of 10. All right, so we've seen the main Joshi store at the front, but in the back, that's where all the action happens. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Yeah. So as you can see, this kitchen is hectic. Everyone's working, everyone's grinding out all these sweets. There's a lot of customers that are gonna be coming. It is the season for them. We've gotten the opportunity to make a famous dessert called jalebi. Jalebi is deep fried flour batter that is made in spiral or circular shapes in the oil and then taken out and put in sugar syrup. Everything about that sounds amazing. So I'm gonna try and make my own jalebi after watching this gentleman make it. Apparently the secret is you have to go fast. Let's jalebi baby. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Here's the sugar syrup that it's coated in. Where's my jalebi? Where's my one? Did he throw mine out? <laughs> and there you can see, that's the final product. Jalebi. So now I'm gonna learn how to make a traditional laddu. <laughs> The master has given me a pass. Did I get the job, sir? If I was there and he had to bring me to help him make sweets, would he be happy? <laughs> and there we have it, the sweetness of Diwali. And I loved each and every piece of the matai that I tried, the Indian sweets that I got to experience. But more importantly, to see the passion, care, that every single person takes into making those sweets. And probably that's why they're so delicious. But what I'm more excited about is how exciting it is for people to be celebrating again and celebrating a moment that's so special to them. And for all those special moments, it's places like this that make them that much sweeter. From our family to everyone celebrating, I wish you all a happy Diwali, much love, and God bless. Still filming?